Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avermance, on the Avermancia Peninsula. We are just outside, if I come this side, just outside the walls, can you see? This is the way into the kind of walled area. If I'm walking backwards, you can see through all there, that's where I've been doing all the work. And as you know, we also started the tower in the last episode. If you didn't see it, actually, it was a really interesting episode. The tower looked fab. I've been working on the tower since, but I need a bit of a break from the tower. And I should tell you for a while, let me just turn myself around. Where's it gone? It's, it's there. Can you see it just rendering in there? That is how the tower looks at the moment. I am so pleased with that. I've taken down all the scaffolding because I wanted to be able to see it in all its glory. Because when it's got scaffolding around it, it just looks like a bit of a building site. But it's fabulous. I'm so pleased with the way it's come out. I still need to do a lot of decoration on the top. It's only kind of decorated up to that top ring, not even perhaps. So I need to do an awful lot more. But I need a break from it because actually it's causing me to mental pain to continue working on it. So I'm not going to work on that today. What we are going to do, however, is we're going to improve access to said tower and hopefully, theoretically, also doing a little bit of... Build oh, I don't know what happened there. A little bit of building um, of the pathway that's going to take us from the Citadel area all the way down to this... Um, I don't know, the base of the hills, I suppose. But in order to be able to come to the base of the hills, we need to be able to get, well, we need to be able to get down from the tower itself. And at the moment, it's not particularly accessible. Uh, and what I need to do is I need to get this area here. And basically, I need to build it out massively with a load of blocks because at the moment, it's just not happening. And what I've got is I've got a load of shulkers I say load of shulkers. I've got three shulkers. Which one's the one I want? I've got one with a load of dirt in, one with a load of sand and um, gravel and coarse dirt and things like that. I've got sand so I can make coarse dirt if I run out. Um, and that's going to be for the road pathway. I've got slabs. I've got so many oak leaves for bushes and everything. It's going to be brilliant. But the one I actually want, I think, is this one. Yeah, and I'm going to take out first off... I'm going to leave couple of stacks of cobble in there and some dirt because I'm going to leave that there for now because what I want to do is I want to build up because at the moment so I can't can you see what I mean I can't really climb up to get to it and as a result this is going to be really complicated as a result I'm going to find it very difficult to yeah, I'm going to find it very, very difficult um, to create a pathway down. I want a winding path that comes from the front of it. Got all those guard rays that comes from the pump front of it and around and down this bit here. So to do that, I need to build it up. So, well, let's just crack on, shall we? Was a bit hairy with the old creeper explosion down there. I only had a couple of arts left. That almost finished me off good and proper. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and get this pathway down so as it goes all the way down to 
no, I don't want a torch, all the way down to the bottom. It might be that I need to terraform ever so slightly more. I'm not entirely certain yet, but I think we're probably just about there. If I just build the path bit, that will allow me to, if I come there and there and there, I need to get down to that platform, which I think this bit's going to be a problem. This bit here, I think this has got to be wider, which is going to be a definite problem. And once I'm down onto this platform, then we are laughing because I think from there, it's relatively speaking quite decent. If I come down this way, there and there, 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 come this side, down, down. Right, so there's a few steep bits there that I'm less happy with, I have to confess. But um, all in all, I think that's more or less okay. So if I then follow that path up, it at least allows me a path upwards. I can now augment that with a little bit of gravel and I think I'm gonna have to put, I may well have to add some bits and pieces onto it to allow some easy access because it's not quite right. If I start putting slabs down on there, it's not gonna work, but I reckon, I reckon I can get that done. So I'm just gonna get some uh, fencing and some gravel and some coarse dirt and make this path a proper path all the way down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack on all the way back over there and start to build the pathway. Look at it, it's majestic. And start to build the pathway road thingy all the way from there up to here. So I've come over to this sandy island here so as I can get a better view of what I've done. Now with the sun directly behind the tower, it's a little bit tricky to see, but I'm quite pleased with what I've done. It's not entirely finished. I've still got some touches that need sorting out, but I think all in all, the the actual pathway going, I've got to be careful. There was some creepers around here. I don't want to end up walking into a creeper. No, that would be bad. Coming up and around. So the path comes up this way. I need to put in a few slabs in a few places to ease this way up um, so you're not jumping all the way but it sort of comes up this way and then up there and up to the top here and then around and then here you are at the base of the tower looks great from up here and then you've got this little viewing area platform here which I think looks really nice looking over all of that kind of Avamancia citadel area which we need to First off, we need to get rid of that poor fella there, don't we? That's no longer got a part in our lives and we need to bring a pathway all the way around. So I'm not gonna do any more detail on this, even though it does need a bit more detail. Um, I've done most of it. The bushes are pretty much done. I just need to add a few kind of finishing touches, but that's not for now. I need to move on and I need to create this pathway. I need to decide where on earth I'm going to create the pathway. So what I might do is I think what I'm probably going to do, rather than make the pathway, hang on, let me just collect up my shulker. There we go. Rather than um, create the pathway from here going this way, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to create the pathway from this end. This could be an error. Back where we started the video, all the way over, this is a long way in it, blimey, this is gonna be quite a long road. I might not get this all done. This is a scary lot of stuffs. Right, so first off, we do need to get rid of that, but I'm not gonna do that now. I want to get this path going. Now, I'm not happy with the way this finishes because it's just cobble. All we've got here is, look, so it's just cobble and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is this obviously comes out from here. This is a decent path. We're gonna bring it up and around and then I think somewhere around about here it needs to stop. But I'm not sure where. So I'll worry about that in a minute. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna get, uh, is it that one? Is it that one? I don't know which one it is. I think it's this one. I'm gonna get this fella. I'm just gonna put it there open that right so we've got some coarse dirt and we've got some gravel so that's good i've also got my thing there i need which one of these has got um i actually don't know which one i've just I picked up a few other bits that the um 
shulkers that were up at the top there, if you remember. That looks nice, doesn't it? Up at the top there. I can't remember. Spruce slabs, that's what we're after. Let's pop some spruce slabs down as well. Got still loads of bushes left because I emptied out the other one. And we are away. So what I need to do, where's my shovel? I need to kind of create the pathway in shovel speak, so to speak, which is going to come down and around. No, down and around like this. And this path will continue up this way, I think. So you see the idea. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the path in and I'm going to wind it all around to make it like a, I don't know, an interesting pathway. And once I've done that, I'm going to pop in some dirt and I'm going to pop in some gravel, which I'll do after I've laid the path because I want to see the track that the path's going to take. And then we're going to try and make it look like it's well, natural, rather than just someone banging along creating a path. So let's have a crack at that. Where's the sun? Have I got some daylight left? Is that going up or down? That sun is going down. Right, so I'm going to have a sleep first. And then once I've had a sleep, I'm going to get this done. George, you're still here. Hello, George. How are you doing? You appear to have got your beak stuck into that post now, which does not look remotely... Oh, you're free. Thank goodness for that. I'm leaving you alone now because I've given you enough attention, you attention grabber. Right, so we've come over to the Hall of Heroes and the Mate Space because it's time, well, to do the Hall of Heroes and the Mate Space, obviously. That's state in the office if you don't want to do this bit you're a little bit mental but never mind you can jump to the timestamp in the description below first off sally please tell me i've spelled that right now please if i've not spelled it right i will change it again oh such a plank anyway scott you have joined the membership ranks i'm very very grateful thank you so much for becoming a member I've clad you in leather as a reward for your membership. Thank you. It's brilliant to have you in here. Loving it. Anyway, let's get over to the Hall of Patrons down here. I almost forgot what you're all called then. That was terrible, wasn't it? Hall of Patrons, I didn't really. I was just thinking. I can't multitask. I'm a man. So, first off, in the Cobblestone Hall, we have got Wayne Linford. Thank you so much, Wayne, for coming along and deciding to stick yourself in the middle of this row here, clad in steel. Very grateful for your cobblestone membership. Thank you very much indeed. Sweetie Leah, sweetie, thank you so much for coming along and becoming a cobblestone patron. I'm really, really grateful for that, Leah. Thank you very much indeed. 
Hectic Nasari. Hectic, you're looking fab in steel, mate. Look at that. The light glints off it. Very dapper. Thank you so much for becoming a cobblestone uh, patron. It is really brilliant to have you on the road. And Seance89, you're at the end. I hope you've got a strong right arm, mate, because that shoulder is going to ache like hell if these guys wriggle even a little bit. But thank you for becoming a cobblestone member. It is brilliant to have you in the patron ranks. And Scott, is that the same Scott? In the comments below, Scott, are you the other Scott? Have you done the double bubble, Scott? If you have, that's doubly great. But if you haven't, Scott, is it dates? Deets? I, I'm really sorry if I'm saying it wrong, Scott. But Scott, thank you so much for becoming a Cobblestone patron. It is brilliant to have you. And I look forward to seeing you on Avatopia. That will be superb. We are going over to Redstone as well. We have a redstone friend that's joined us too, coming down here. I need a road map coming down here. I get tired. I might have a little breather. <sighs> that's better. Let's carry on. Right, it's coming down this way. And in our redstone hall, we have James Hale. James, thank you so, so much for becoming a redstone patron. It's absolutely brilliant. I've done you an extra specially lightweight but very strong steel suit in order to make sure that you are properly protected from Wade because you can't trust him. He's, you know you know what he's like. You, you know what he's like. James, thank you very, very much. It is brilliant to have you in the ranks. I'm very grateful. If you are interested in becoming a patron of this channel, you get a lot of benefits and all of them are outlined at avamance.com. That is avamance.com. All the benefits of patronage and how to get involved are right there. Now, we are going over to the mate space and I've got to go and get myself a sign. I thought I'd picked one up, but I didn't. Oh, George, you're laying eggs again. Are you Georgina? You keep laying eggs. It'd be really weird if you weren't. And we're going to have... Oh, down into our last from three stacks that's fine we've got to come all the way around because that fella up there is full now isn't it it is so we're coming down here and i have built up i did it offline you've seen me build three you don't really want to see me build a fourth one so i've come in and i've built this fourth area of the mate space all these little podiums i shall fill up we've got lovely um lakeage and it's it's i just made it a little bit pretty i thought it'd be nice for it to be pretty but Today, what episode are we, by the way? Hang on, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what episode we are. I've got to go and look at the other one. Hold up a minute. I'll let me go and look at what the last one was, episode-wise. I'm coming up here. I'm going to jump off because that's how I roll. Uh, 94. Co yes, it's Conanut, by the way. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to do this first because this is Conanut, not Coconut. Oh, I got it all wrong. Conanut. Sorry about that. Right, so 95. Ouch. Right, so we're coming down here. Episode 95. We're almost at the century, peeps. That's insane. Episode 95. I cannot believe I've not put this person in like 50 episodes ago. They are absolutely core to the Avatopia and the Quarrycraft server. And I'm so sorry that I've missed you out so far. I thought you were already in. But now, episode 95. My good friend, Pack. Boom, boom, pack, you are in. And as a result of you coming in and being such an awesome person, I'm going to boom, boom around your feet. Boom, 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 boom. I would use TNT, but it took me ages to build this, so I'm not going to. Let's get back, quick. Let's get back. I didn't spam too many rockets again. I'm getting a little bit better. I've come back into the Citadel just to start my journey from the Citadel all the way to the Tower, which I thought would be nice to do it with you, but I'm just looking around. I really need to do something with this area. My goodness, we've done buildings, but look at all this flatness. We don't do flat anymore, people, for goodness sake. Right, so we're coming out, and I don't know why I'm ducking to come under here. It feels very low. Might need to do something with that as well. Coming out and through, and we find ourselves in a slightly greener area. We've cordoned it off with some bushes and stuff like that. The trees are overhanging. It's very nice. We've got just a nice little kind of pagoda almost style trellis thing going on here that brings us out into the open world. But we're in a nice path because we don't want to be tramping through the wilderness, at least not yet. So we're walking along the nice path. And as we walk along the nice path, we ended up, well, I was going to do a little field. I was going to do a little field, but it turned into a big field and, well, I think it looks quite nice. And I'm going to do it again on this side as well, I think, because 
it just needs to match. And if I could walk through the middle of the field, I think that would be rather nice, actually. And the bushes now start to just peter out a little bit. They're still there. We've got the fences still there, but we've not got loads. And we've got this water feature that I'm going to do something with. I'm not entirely sure what yet. And we're coming up and around, and we just follow this path. The bushes are rolling down from this hill as we get closer to this ridiculous shaped tower and coming around through the shadows and i'm going to do some more kind of offshoots around the sides here maybe improve the law of the area just a little bit because i think we can make the law actually quite interesting with some little i don't know monuments and things like that that perhaps i don't know indicate previous uh ancestors or something and then it just keeps coming on around and i'm just keeping an eye out for anything that might eat my face and as we go up and it brings us up to the bottom of the tower. And then we should just come up this tower really easily along this pathway. Now, that's, this pathway isn't going to be the only pathway where it goes. We're going to have it go, continuing on into the distance. I need to maybe make this a little bit easier to come up. And then we come up and we're at the top of the path. And we're at the base of the tower right there. I think that worked rather well. And that, I don't mind telling you was some work over the last two weeks. So I hope you like what you've done. Any thoughts about what we could do to continue this sort of idea? I'm gonna work on the outside a little bit more than the inside for the next few weeks, I think. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now, bye.